Today is an introduction to systems of linear equations. So, um, when you have equations with only one variable, you really don't need to uh, set up a separate equation. But, when you have two variables, in this case, y and x, you're going to need to set up two separate equations in order to arrive at a solution. Now, in this case, we're going to start by taking a look at some real-world examples and then um, find the answer to that solution. And what we will see is when dealing with a system of linear equations, you're going to have a unique solution. That means there's only one answer that works, or one answer that will fit both equations. So let's start with an example. Mr. Chavez has x dogs and y cats. Altogether, he has nine. In addition, he has twice as many dogs as cats. How many of each animal does he have? All right, well, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of information there, but really, if you break it down piece by piece, there's quite a bit. So, first thing I'm going to do is start with that first statement. Mr. Chavez has X dogs and Y cats. Altogether, he has nine. So, the first thing I did was create a table of all the dogs I could have from zero to nine and the pairings of cats that I could have with those dogs, you'll notice they all add up to nine. So that's a pretty large table that I've got going there. The next sentence, in addition, he has twice as many dogs as cats. So there's a second table, and again showing with X's dogs and um, having Y's cats. Now, what you'll see is that in this case, if I have twice as many, I'm only dealing with even numbers because we're not talking about partial dogs or partial cats. And I'm only going up to eight because once I hit nine, again, there's that partial cat issue, which we don't want to get into. That's kind of messy. And it doesn't really serve my purpose. Now, as I look at the two tables, I'm looking for commonalities between the two sentences. And I see that over here, with six dogs and three cats, I see identical values in both tables. So where x equals six and y equals three, that's the answer to my two statements. If I were to set this up as an equation, then instead I would have my first equation here, x dogs and y cats. I would say, all right, that means x plus y equals nine. And then in my second equation, I have twice as many dogs as cats, x equals 2y. Using a table, I can find the x and y coordinates that work for both equations, and I can plug this in to check to see if it's true. 6 plus 3 equals 9, that is true, and 6 equals 2 times 3. That is also true. All right, let's take a look at another example. Lionel has a younger brother. The difference in their ages is one year. The sum of four times Lionel's age and his brother's age is 14 years. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up an equation. Let's see, Lionel has a younger brother. So let's say that, oops, Ah, what's going on here? Let's say that Lionel equals x. Let's clean that up. Then if we want to go ahead and use two different variables, by the way, you can solve this with a single variable. But right now, we're focusing on solving with two variables. You'll see where the single variable comes into play in later lessons. Okay. So the difference in their ages is one year. So if I subtract the age of Lionel's younger brother from his age, I get one. So here that is. All right, now next. The sum of four times Lionel's age and his brother's age, which we've established as y, is 14 years. 
So there I have my two separate equations. x minus y equals 1 and 4x plus y equals 14. What I then did was, as the example was given before, I'm going to go ahead and create a table with my data values and then I'm going to see where those values overlap. And I see in my table they overlap where x equals 3 and y equals 2. So going back to the original information then Lionel is 3 and his younger brother is 2. So that's how using a table can be useful in kind of seeing how the two separate equations relate to each other. What we're going to be doing soon is solving these equations algebraically and finding out the relationship between the two equations in different ways.